Welcome to Half the Shells. My name is Kara. I'm Sonali. And let us start off this episode with a quote from one of our favorite books, Becoming Leda, by Michelle Grierson. My world tips sideways, as if my head were halfway into the sea, one eye above the water and one eye below, an entire other world, the way things truly are, hidden, but always there, waiting to be seen. And that is on page 68, just in case you guys are reading along. And without really giving, you know, giving much spoiler, this is a historical fantasy. And can you tell us a little about what this book is? Yeah, so it's kind of confusing because there is a lot happening. And each chapter is told from another person's perspective and a different point in time. But basically, there are these two women main characters. There's a mom and her daughter. The mom's name is Maiva and her daughter is Lyda, um, who's the part of the title, Becoming Lyda. And so the whole story is kind of about them, but there are other characters, other women involved. And there's Maiva's husband, who's kind of seen as like kind of a bad guy, but we kind of also see like his perspective also. So the whole story is set in um, Norway. And Michelle Grierson, the author, said she she said it in, I think, the turn of the 19th century. Right, before the war industrial revolution. So it's really cool to see, like, historical Norway, but also, like, see some of the mythology mixed in there. And you get to see, like, the comparison and the conflict between... Christianity and Norse mythology and the way that like the two either complement each other and really clash yeah and the cool thing is so uh, we chose this book for our book podcast half the shelves and by the way it is available everywhere you that you listen to the podcast so check us out and we were lucky enough to get the author Michelle to join us and talk about her book and then talk about her writing process and you know the, her favorite character to ride or most favorite, most frustrating character to ride and and all these other things so it was pretty neat so definitely check us out and this book definitely ties in with her heritage because she is part Norwegian and she and her son went to Norway on a on a I want to say on a month trip maybe um and mm-hmm. they I remember how she felt at home and her son felt at home in Norway. So that was pretty cool to hear. So definitely check us out and check out what she has to say. And this book, it's historical fantasy, but I would say is a little bit more on the fantasy side than on the historical. I actually asked Michelle about that. And then according to her, she said about 20% is like historical. And then, you know, 80% is like, fantasy which makes sense yeah i think the the most historical parts are the ones that are based on real norse myths like the myth of the selkie which was really cool to learn about and um i think that's a really important part of like those countries history and so that was really cool that she included that as part of the story and she really like formed the whole book around this myth um, and so I think that was really cool. And the rest of the book is just like so like pretty. It's it's told like very poetically. There are a lot of lines that you can quote and um and I think a lot of people have said that it's something that you really want to savor. Like you don't want to just finish it in a few days. You wanna like savor it over a few weeks or so yeah you know how like we see instagram pictures like really really pretty instagram pictures well this is the book version of it so yeah i mean look at this cover Mm -hmm. isn't it amazing you have the night sky which is so beautiful um cara recently went to iceland so like you can imagine like norwegian skies or supposed to be beautiful so you get to see that yeah and then the northern lights which you cannot see in the summer unfortunately i didn't get to see it but that's a little bit segue (laughs) yeah but i mean the coverage is amazing and then there's kind of like it looks like it might be like a village 
mm-hmm. in the bottom. And that's kind of like the vibe of this book. It's just um, a mysterious, magical like novel about two females mainly, but um, they're both seen as outsiders in their small village. And people kind of are very suspicious of them. They think these two women are like of the devil or something and they've kind of demonized them. Yeah, so this story is not only about just female empowerment, it also deals with alienation, right? Um, when you have people who are very different from you, we you know you don't get treated normally. And that's something that we see all the time. I mean, even now in 2021, mm-hmm. especially in 2021, right? With all the pe- all the immigrants, all the refugees that are coming in due to things that are happening out in the world. Um, all the wars are happening out there. I mean, that's all because people look at other people who are different from them. So this book explores that. And then I can definitely resonate with, you know, the theme here. And, and the cool thing about this book is that it goes from what was, what is, and then what could be, right? Yeah, so like the different tenses, or yeah. I mean the different um, time frames. It goes from like pe- present, past, and then future also. Yeah, so uh, what was is usually from like Mavra's perspective, and then what is like usually from Leda, you know, sh- she is becoming like she's just becoming figuring out who she is so that's pretty neat and then what could be it's just well what could be so um yeah i feel like the one of the core themes is identity like michelle was talking about how she wrote this book as part of the process of figuring out like her heritage and i think the characters in becoming lida are also trying to figure out who they are and so like your identity and figuring out who you are is like one of the core themes. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it's also kind of neat to learn Norwegian words from this book. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Duka is doll. Yeah, so there are a few Norwegian words that, that I was like, oh, I never know, you know, that existed. And then now I know. Yeah. Um, I would definitely recommend this book for all the people who love love historical and fantasy so like i say this is more on a fantasy side but if you love fantasy books i definitely encourage you to pick up this book and and read through it i mean she's such a underrated author and this is such an underrated book and it's just you know i'm really surprised that it's not big yet yeah, she's actually a high school teacher. She teaches drama, and I think um, she kind of like brought some of that like dramatic art into this novel. But I think this is her first actual writing project, like published. Mm-hmm. So like she is working on other things, but I'm hoping she gets more publicity. Oh, she definitely! Is amazing. Yeah. Well, that is it. Like I said, we have her on our podcast, which is amazing. So definitely, definitely check us out. Leave us a comment. Give us a review. Tell us what books you want us to read next. You know, we're all ears. And if you want to reach us out, um, reach out to us. If you want to reach out to us, definitely uh, go on Instagram. It's under the same name. We are very active on Instagram. So yeah, we would love to hear what you have to say. All right. Have a good one.